Welcome to This Week in Crowder College, an in-depth look into how Crowder College students, faculty, and staff are working together so students soar to new heights, communities are impacted, and lives are changed. This Week in Crowder College is sponsored by the Law Offices of Wood and Peterson in Neo Show, specializing in workers' compensation, personal injury, social security disability, and more. Learn more online at neoshowattorney.com. Now here's this week's edition of This Week in Crowder College. Welcome to a brand new week of This Week in Crowder College right here on 91.7 FM. Adam Winkler here with you. We're joined by the head softball coach out there at Crowder College, head coach Josh Barnes. And coach, thanks for being with us. No problem. Appreciate you guys having me. Well, you are fully settled in um, as the head coach at Crowder College. And uh, take us through the uh, the month of January as you guys got set to begin the uh, the 2023 season and just your excitement uh, in those preseason practices leading up to the start of the year. You know, I'll tell you what, coaches, uh, t- teachers around probably enjoy Christmas break a lot more than softball, baseball coaches do because um, it's just a nothing month long that we got to sit around and wait for our season to start. But January for us means uh, – a lot of hope. We hope there's some good days in there. Hope we get some good weather. And we're about to start the season, get rolling after all the hard work in the fall and really test our team and see what they're about. So we, uh, yeah, we got, we got going last Saturday finally. And, and now we're just looking for the next warm day we get outside. Well, we can hear the bats cracking in the background. You guys are using that great indoor training facility out there at Crowder College. And take us back to last Saturday. You guys opened up against Coffeyville, won the first game 24 nothing, second game 26-6. to And uh, uh, it looks like your girls were locked in and ready to go. Yeah, you know what they really were. And, and that's a testament to their maturity and work ethic, um, the group that we have. You know, we got some good returns, good transfers, and really good freshmen. Just the overall culture that we have. They really are locked in. They're hungry and eager. Um, you know, the score, having a score that high in softball is usually not not the norm. Um, but we were just locked into what we did, and we really took uh, we took inning by inning and, and, and started every inning zero zero and tried to win that. And it, it was really really evident in the first inning. You know, our pitcher Chelsea Bavell, she she went out there and struck out the side, and then um, our hitting we scored eleven runs. And in fact, Laney Tapp, a freshman from Centerton, Arkansas, hit two home runs in the inning. And I mean, everybody kind of kind of had their way with what they wanted to do, but we really stuck with our approach, and and that's a benefit to what they're doing, and and just kind of how how they take their work. And so it was nice to see and be rewarded with that. But you know, the only problem when you do that is you got to prove it. Well, this is a team that went to the national tournament last year, had a lot of success. And tell me about some of the returners off of last year's ball club who's back for you, and uh, just some of those uh, key players on your team this year. For sure, we got five returners from last year's team, and. And getting that experience, you know, last year's team, it was just top to bottom. Just from an outsider's perspective, man, top to bottom, just really competitive. There are starters, you know, 1 through 22 or how many there ever there was on the roster. Great pitching, great hitting, just could do everything. And so that was evident of their record and then going to the national tournament. Fortunately, you know, me as a coach coming in, I inherited some of these players and and they've embraced me, and they're really good. You know, it all starts in the circle. we got Chelsea Bavell back there, um, a girl from Seneca. She's going to come in there and, and do a lot of things that a number one pitcher should do, and she gets a lot of strikeouts and misses a lot of barrels. She's really focused on that. We're trying to, you know, continue to grow as a pitcher and learn more about pitching versus just throwing, which is, you know, she's got really good natural ability, so now she's going to combine that with, with her mental side of it. Um, catching her behind the dish is Ava Stolinski. That's good to have that, just that attitude back. She really brings attitude to our team that we can't be beat. Um, and to go along with that, we got a couple good outfielders returning. And Carly Durham and Macy Sonny, they're two lefty hitters that really set the table and then they cover that big ground uh, that we have here at Crowder College in our softball field. They really they really can cover some ground defensively and lock that down, make our pitchers look really good and get some easy outs. Um, and then we have Alyssa Jennings. She's a utility player. She played a little bit outfield last year. going to play a little bit infield for us and outfield this year. I really look forward to to her, I, I look for her to make a huge jump. She's really fast, sits with a lot of power, and so she's going to kind of be one of those sleeper players that we really didn't get to see a lot last year because of the depth. I think she only got about 50 at bats, but uh, she's really going to go off this year, steal a bunch of bases, hit some balls for us that are going to go really far, and then just play a good defense kind of all over all over the field besides pitcher and catcher. But yeah, with those returners, man, we're, we're blessed because we got three transfers. Pitchers, two pitchers, Aiden Dayberry and Kenyon DeCorte. They both came from D.C. schools. And uh, came in, and then we got a uh, uh, Trinity Miller. She's from Ada, Oklahoma. She transferred from uh, com- a community college in Texas, and, and she'll be big time with that. And so 
with just with our sophomores that we have the leadership, man, they're tough and it really bleeds into our whole culture. Well, and finally, Coach, during the month of February, you never know what you're going to get, even into in, into March weather-wise. So how do the girls stay mentally sharp when uh, it could be a week or two between games with the weather we're getting right now this week? It's tough to get on, on the field, but uh, you never know when those rescheduled dates might happen. And how do the girls stay mentally sharp through all these uh, ebbs and flow of the weather in uh, February and March? Yeah, no, that, that's, a, that's a great question um, about – like just staying in there because you never know when you're going to play. Really, I tell the girls we schedule our games just to reschedule. So we schedule them to get the opponents on the on the schedule, and then and then we uh, reschedule those games. But really, being able to use the indoor, um, we we have an inter squad series going on in the indoor off the pitching machine that keeps us competitive. You know, some days I try to mix it up at practice. We'll have it short and sweet, get them in and get them out. We're doing other stuff. We we use this time for the weight room as well, and so we're trying to get stronger. So we you know when we're hot and heavy in our games during the during the later spring that we don't get to always lift that we can fall back on this and we don't have to have as much um you know i guess those time to stay healthy and stay strong there so really for them it's, it's just about talking about it and approach and you know always staying hungry and and i try to keep them i try to keep them informed of what i'm thinking so that way there's no guessing you know they know hey we might play this day we might play that day and we just get hungry about it you know these girls it's they're really their work ethic, like I say, I can't say that enough, man. Their tenacity, they, they want to play. And so they're just eager all the time. And when we get a chance to prove ourselves, that's, that's what we want. We want to play against the best. And so they're always looking for that and looking for every opportunity to get out there and show up. Well, a lot of great talent out there on the Lady Rough Riders Ball Club. We heard about Chelsea Beville from Seneca, Alyssa Jennings from Web City, local products that uh, fans around here will know. If you get a chance, get on out and support the Lady Rough Riders. It's going to be a fantastic season for them. And Coach Josh Barnes, thanks for your time on This Week in Crowder College. No problem. I thank you for having me out here. And, man, come out here and see us. And go Rough Riders. Thank you for listening to This Week in Crowder College. This Week in Crowder College is sponsored by the law offices of Wood and Peterson in the Show. You can listen to this broadcast again by going online to kneo.org or to crowder.edu. Tune in once again next week for another edition of This Week in Crowder College on KNEO 91.7 FM.